Hey, welcome back guys. Today we are going to be attempting the Cyrell Nightmare Quest. But before I do that, I'm going to insert the fail reel right here. And if you don't want to watch that, please just skip to the time marker below. Almost for certain. Yeah, so I kind of lost two team members there, so boom. that did not work out too well. That doesn't go until the rest of their team goes. Hopefully Tifa can survive this. Channel. I'm gonna need to get a backup bit there, buddy. Um, Realist magic, I guess. And Tifa. Oh, Dario down. Oh, Jesus. So, these guys are doing, um, doing big AoE hits. Okay, well, that's about wrapping it up for this round. The third wave. I'm out of here, dude. Oh no! Oh no! That's not good. So that's gonna hit Cyrell now. Cyrell is down. Oh no! Oh, no! Alright, so we're here at the character select screen. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do this with my fire team. Uh, originally I tried to do it with my wind team. But the problem with that is my win team sucks. For some reason, I just decided to, since we have to use Cyrell, I decided to, oh, let me just get the elemental clear at the same time. Yeah, I mean, I got the clear, but I, I didn't get the five stars. So I'm going to try to get the five stars right now. And let's see how this goes. Let me turn on an initial placement. Um, I sort of know what to do, so we'll see what happens. All right, let's get into it. Okay, so here we are. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just put Mont up front and maybe just Cyrell in the back. Cyrell, my Cyrell is only six resonance with, with her Esper, so I'm just going to keep her in the back. So my strategy for this team is to, I basically have two healers, two healers, two magic users, and a tank. That's basically my strategy. I find that with this, with the um, with the nightmare quest, having two healers is actually pretty good. So that's been pretty useful. Uh, for this one in particular, what I'm going to do is I what I had equipped is basically you know the normal cards to give you more attack up, more magic up, etc. Then I also have like. Um, Missile resist and stuff like that, and area resist, because those rangers at the end are very, very annoying. Uh, what I'm going to do with Minwoo here is I'm going to use Right to the Flame onto uh, Terra and just power Terra up to be ridiculously strong. Alright, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to just move Mont up. And hopefully, the turtles just go straight for him. Uh, what I don't want is for the turtles to start immobilizing everybody. But I think after a certain point, they run out of Immobilize. So my strategy last time was just to wait for the Immobilize to run out. Because um, the turtles are just like incredibly, incredibly annoying. Um, what I might end up doing is actually moving up. I kind of don't want to be on the stairs either, but I pretty much will have to at some point. But what I want to do is just sort of like maybe move up and start, start doing some damage. And maybe start to attacking the the, the healer there because the healer can be really annoying. All right, so I'm gonna keep Terra in the back for now. I'm hoping that the turtles don't move like close enough to actually hit the other two. I don't want everybody to get immobilized, so I'm gonna try to just keep Terra and Mont up front. It looks like the turtles are sort of copying my strategy, so maybe that's not going to end up working, and I might have to maybe move Terra a little bit further up, or maybe move someone else up. But I also have an idea, another idea, to help with the turtles, and that is AP Drain on Mont. So let's see how that works out. Uh, 
it's really like you can win this pretty i think pretty easily pretty handily i think the biggest issue is how long it takes to set up the three three kills at the same time uh, mission so let me just what i'm gonna try to do here is i'm just gonna try to set the defenses up for kingmont and for terra and hopefully i believe it's this one hopefully um you know i don't have to keep healing them and using up heals just to sort of get this done all right so i need to move terra up i believe i think here might be the best spot but honestly i kind of want to hit the healer here so i want to move even further up i don't want to kill the turtles in one shot like that um i don't really want to move this far up so i might maybe i'll just wait here for this turn and then see what happens next turn okay so defense is here up. okay so now the turtles are moving up well one of them did at least uh maybe it's a, it's a good idea to move either mont or terra to this side and then maybe get started with those ap greens it's a lot of times it's hard to tell whether you're whether the enemies are using TP or AP. And that's just the quirk of the game, I guess. Um, so, I don't really know if it's, if it's AP or TP, but at least if I start working on the AP, that'll actually do something. And so maybe with Terra, let's see if I can actually start wearing these guys down. Hopefully I don't crit too hard here. Okay, good. So that removed the buff, which is good. Maybe that was the defense buff. I don't really know. Um, I think here... Yeah, I think everybody in the back should just wait. Okay, this is good. So now the healer also moved up. So maybe what I could do here with Minu is cast Ultima. Or one of her, maybe, Comet. Might be faster. Ultima. And then just set Terra up for the triple kill. Because they miracul miraculously haven't immobilized me yet. So if I could get in now, that would be, would be great. But it looks like Kilfay is actually one square further than I thought she was. So um, I'm not going to be able to set it up for next turn. But I might just be able to get in there with Terra close enough to actually um, get rid of this healer. So... I think it's good that that turtle moved because now this other turtle might move next to where Kilfe is and that's going to bunch them up a little bit better. No, don't want to wait here. Um, let me move Glacella over here. Let's see if I can start doing some damage on this turtle on the staircase. Okay, so that worked. Oh no! Alright. I killed the turtle. I'm an idiot. Alright, so let's not mess with these turtles anymore. There's gonna be three guys at the end I think I can kill. It's just a matter of accuracy at that point. I do have some accuracy stuff on. Or I think one accuracy item on, which is the Encounter of Heroes card. So, the thing with this second wave is it's possible to triple kill them. However, I think the issue is that getting them to move into place might be a little bit tricky. Alright, so Comet, oh, Comet might be a good option here. It's a little bit faster than Ultima. Or maybe I could just quicken somebody. I think maybe Comet would be better. And then get rid of the the uh, healer here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna just try here for a cheat move Let's see if that does anything 2600 versus 26 all right so just do this and then maybe that kill is gonna die so no problem there then maybe kill this healer with Glacella Right, and then I also just want to move Glacella up. 
So Glacial is not like super um, buff or anything, like defensive wise, but she is able to heal herself, so I think that's gonna be pretty helpful. If I can move her up here and Celeste at the same time, uh, Terra at the same time, then hopefully I can do enough damage to get a triple kill. Probably not gonna be very easy, but we're gonna try anyway. Uh, kind of wish I could move Minwoo right now, but that's gonna be a little bit of an issue. Um, I need, I would need her to. Oh, wait a second. This might be good. I would need her to cast a defensive buff on Mons, but she can't. So. I'm just going to heal with her and then Glacial can concentrate on either buffing or sort of attacking these guys up front or just healing uh, Terra. So actually they set themselves up pretty nicely for Mont here. So I'm going to do a Maiming Slash. And actually Maiming Slash probably would have been good against the healer so that she doesn't heal kill Faye and the turtles as much so that might be something to consider for another run if another run is necessary all right so let's see crescent raid crescent riot break maybe I'll, I'll take the chance here that it's going to be a crit but maybe i won't because that's actually my damage limit on um, terra keep calling keep wanting to call her celeste um but terra doesn't really have well she has meltdown She doesn't really have another attack that is not going to do pretty much death damage. Uh, Mariel is going to move next turn, so maybe I'll do Meltdown. Is that an instant cast? Yeah, I, I believe it is. So let me just do that. Now they're all kind of nice and ripe for the taking. So Mariel is moving next. Hopefully she stays within range there. Good. Alright, Minwoo is not going to do anything. Yeah, Min was not going to do anything, so let me just, or maybe I can quicken, can I quicken herself? That would be amazing. I uh, I can't. So maybe a haste. A haste is probably the best way to cure the mobile device. At least from the options that I have. Alright, so maybe King Mont can actually get here, in here, and do a, a nice little, um, another maiming slash and actually get the kill he seems to be going next but actually glacial is even going after himself so hopefully that will be good all right this looks like it's the triple kill so bam there you go triple kill done and these guys are spawning in so part of me wants to go wants to stay down here and help out these two down here because they're not quite as strong i am not going to use grand explosion as tempting as that may seem. Well, maybe if it's a fast cast. If it's a fast casting, yeah, I'll do it. But that seems to be the best option. All right, so I'll do it. And then with, okay, so that missed on that one guy. And then maybe with Minwoo, I'll do the Dream Inducer. And hopefully that can actually do some good damage. Or I also have the option to summon the Esper here. And that's not even that great of an attack, so... And I also have the option to do Shadow Flare. Let's see. Uh, I guess I'll stick with Dream Inducer. How long does that take? Okay, that's pretty quick. Alright, if I can at least kill this one guy, then that'll help tremendously. This other guy here, it's got like way too much evasion, so he's kind of annoying. And maybe I'll just Proclamation and kind of just stay here in the middle somewhere. Hopefully everybody gets baited towards Mons. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, so just gotta make sure to heal Mons so he doesn't die. Okay, and that's agility up. So let me try to kill this other guy. So let me just get behind him for the accuracy. 100% accuracy here. Kind of don't want to use Grand, grand Explosion. 
and I'll use the limit break. I think that's probably the, the most damage. Okay, Mons taking the hate. Good job. And now I can probably do something with Cyrell. So Cyrell is going to be of some use. So 80% chance there and a chance of Frostbite. Good. All right. So we got that one Energist, I guess he is. And then the one Archer up top. So this is actually going much better than the last runs. <laughs> oh, good. boy. All right. So let's keep this going. We got the stun off. All right. I think this is pretty much in the bag. Well, what's going on here? Ultima, maybe? Yeah, Ultima. And then Glacial can come up here. And, uh, do whatever she wants to do. She just does enough damage to get the ultimate kills. And then the one Ranger up top is all we have to worry about. And he's still attacking King Mont, which is good. And I could just summon on him. That should be 100% accuracy. Man, that made it seem like way easier. I was struggling with this. It took me like a few tries to do this, but I got it. I got it. So, all right, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. But thankfully, that one went smoothly, but I probably already edited in the other clips of me messing up in various ways. All right, see you guys.